Hello, my name is Matthew Cook and I'm an engineer here with the City of Saginaw Fire Department in Saginaw, Michigan. Here to talk to you today really quick about home fire safety, give you some recommendations on how to keep yourself safe and to better equip your home, and share some quick st statistics that we found over the last few years with fire-related deaths in the state of Michigan. According to the Michigan Fire Inspector Society, there were 102 deaths and 90 separate fires in the state of Michigan in 2019. That was a decrease by 27% from 2018, so that's a good thing. However, in the first few weeks of Jan or in, uh, this month of January in 2020, we've seen an uptick of 66% increase in fire-related deaths. This typically happens in Michigan during the winter months with unattended heating elements such as stoves, ovens, and space heaters around the house that are unattended or crowded and cause a fire. Uh, male victims have comprised roughly two-thirds of the victims we found in structure fires, and females are one-third of the victims that we found. Uh, the um, time of day typically seems to be at night. Over the last few years, uh, 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. has comprised 63% and 86% of the fire-related deaths in the state of Michigan. So a lot of times people are at home after work, leave cooking on the stove, uh, unattended smoking, heaters, they go to bed, and uh, the bad things happen at night when people are asleep and not recognize the, recognizing the issues and the emergencies that's happening. Uh, good news is 90% of homes reported today have smoke detectors in them. However, the bad news is 25 to 30% of them when tested either failed or were not working properly. So I want to give you a few tips here to help keep yourself safe in the home so you don't become part of these statistics and we don't have to talk about this as much and we educate the public and uh, you can keep yourself safe. And if you need anything, you can always call us and we'll help you out. So in the city of Saginaw, we have a program where we do a home smoke detector installs. You contact our fire prevention office, they put your name on a list, they distribute that list to the various fire stations around the city and depending on where you live, that station will uh, show up to your house at a predetermined time and install smoke detectors for you. Now when we're there installing smoke detectors, the lieutenant or the captain will uh, conduct a home evacuation drill with all members present, so we ask that you all be present in the home. Uh, this helps in uh, identifying different areas of concern, uh, different areas of exit, areas that you might have not thought about, and it will also educate the children and uh, the adults that are there on how to get out of your house and how to make sure that you are safe and that when you call us, you give us the needed information on how we can better serve you when we get there. So kids are a great uh, resource. They love doing this stuff. They love hearing this stuff. They love being in charge. They love making decisions, and it helps them. Uh, remember this information so that when an emergency does come, they wake, or when an emergency does happen, they wake up in the middle of the night, they understand what needs to be done, they get out of the house, and they know who to call, they know where to go. So uh, another few tips that we have on top of the uh, smoke detectors and the um, home evacuation procedures is just general housekeeping. A lot of times we find hoarder houses, which add a lot of fuel to the fire for us firefighters and make home evacuation nearly impossible for some of the victims in these houses. So we want you to make sure that you have clear passways to your door and we want to make sure that you have uh, a clear access to outside of the house in case of an emergency. Uh, another thing we want to talk about today is understanding that there is an emergency. I do it myself. I'm guilty of it as well. Uh, when I'm cooking and the smoke detector goes off, either my kid grabs a uh, rag or I grab a rag and I run over to the smoke detector and I wave it. Uh, that's absolutely not what we want you to do. I shouldn't be doing it, and my kids shouldn't be doing it, and I need to conduct these things in my own home as well, the evacuation procedures and the education. When you hear that uh, smoke detector going off, you need to make sure that you get everybody out of the house. Even if it's just a simple cooking fire, get people out of the house, go to your uh, predetermined meeting site, and call 911. We'd rather have you call us and not need us than need us and not call us. We're here to help you. We are paid to be here to help you, and we want to help you. Give us a call. We will help you out. You need to recognize that there is an emergency. You need to recognize of the different types of emergencies that can occur to your home with fire. Uh, it can be in your basement, it can be your attic, it can be on the first floor, kitchen, living room, it can happen anywhere. You need to be prepared, you need to know how to get out, you need to know where to meet, you need to know how to call us, and you need to know uh, the different measures that you can take in your own home to keep yourself safe. During the winter months here in Michigan, we recommend that you keep, if you're, if you're gonna use a space heater, you need to keep at least one foot all around that space heater. Uh, just a few days ago, we had a structure fire. Luckily, nobody was home at the time. They were at work, but they left their heater in their living room, and uh, their house is now a total loss. We put the fire out, but it was another situation where hoarding conditions leaded to um, was a contributing factor in the structure fire and also the unattended heater that was left in those hoarding conditions. So you want to keep those areas safe. You want to keep them clear, and you want to make sure when you're cooking, when you have heating going on, when you have candles, if you're going to go to bed, if you're going to leave the house, if you're going to leave the room, blow them out turn them off. You don't need to lose your house over simple things that are easy to uh, take care of and easy to handle. 
So hopefully you learned a little bit today from me. If you need anything else, you can feel free to give us the give us a call at any fire station, call our fire prevention office. We can get you scheduled for smoke detectors. And if you need anything in general, call us. We're here 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. More than happy to help. Have a good one. Thanks.